Welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast. I am your host, Uncle Dub, man. I see we got the people want to call in already, man. I apologize for that, man. Thank y'all for calling. And thank y'all for watching. And thank y'all for kicking it with us, man. Herbal Tea Podcast. So I'm Uncle Dub. I'm sitting here with my co-host. Rita D. Rita D is in the building. Also, hey. also with my guest host. Jesse P, back again. Hey, man, and we are the Herbal Tea Podcast. We come to kick it with y'all, talk y'all, kick it. Talk our stuff, man, and just talk about stuff that's important to us, especially relationships. Sometimes politics, religions, if we got to go on this. So how was y'all weekend? Wait, can we get out the phone number oh, so yeah, they can yeah, call yeah. into the podcast? Yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all can call into the podcast. Um, today's topic is, do you give your spouses, would you give your spouse your codes to your cell phone, to your oh. social media? Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So, she you knows. so would you give your, is that important to you? Is, this, is, is it important for you to have your spouses? So you can definitely get a call in at 248 248- 854-9850. Boom, 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 man. And we definitely want y'all to call in, man, talk y'all stuff with us, man. We appreciate y'all. And one more time, going to get that number out. It's 248 854 9850. 9850, man. So definitely. So how was your, how was your weekend, Queens? I mean, let's get to us after we got, because this caller, man, they ready. Oh, they are they, they already on the line? The caller on the line? Oh, okay. What's going on, Carla? Where you calling from and what's your name? Hello. Carla? Carla, can you hear us? I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. So what's, what's your name and where you calling from? Thank you for calling in at Herbal Tea. Thank you for calling in. All right, you got to break it up. Uh, Uh-oh. No, I said what's your name and where you calling from? What's your name and where you calling from, Carla? Oh, okay, what's going on, oh, Ashley from Muskegon? Muskegon? I appreciate you calling, man. Definitely. Um, today's podcast is being Ashley sponsored. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> no, today's podcast is being sponsored by Glow Body Body Sculpting. Body, excuse me, Glow Body Sculpting. And um, Ashley is um the CEO of Glow Body Sculpting, so we definitely want to give her a shout out. And um, thank you, Queen, for calling in. Thank you for having me. Definitely, definitely. So tell us about your Glow Body Sculpt and what it does and what is it and, you know, how can the people reach you? <laughs> so you can follow me on Facebook. I'm Marie A.K. That's my personal page. But we also have a Facebook page that is Glow Body that you can follow. Okay. And what it is, is a non-surgical procedure of laser lipo where I can increase inches off your stomach, uh, remove rolls off your back, skin tightening of your arm if you've got that flappy mm. arm skin if you have cellulite on your legs if you want a butt enhancement or oh. hip placement mm. I can do all those and I will actually be in you guys' city on the 28th, 29th, 30th and 31st if you want to book an appointment oh wow man definitely man we appreciate that so so yeah. Axel, so far as what you do is not it's not where you it's, a, it's not a surgery where you get cut or anything else like like that you just no non-touch basically no it's no nothing surgical nothing i do should hurt or be discomfort to you at all whatsoever okay and to add to that i am a nurse um, okay so okay i know the body i know what i'm doing and um you will receive you will see results right then and there i'm going to measure you we're going to take pictures before and after okay and i'm very confident in my work if you don't like it you don't lose any inches i will give you your money back okay okay man definitely man and we appreciate you man for calling in man and she called and she sponsoring the show so anybody that goes see her this weekend will get a herbal tea uh discount of uh the front of i guess the front part for 150 i guess or you know whatever you want to um <clears throat> well, you get a one. You, well, she does it for one fifty, I think, for the front. I, I'm not sure of the procedure exactly, but um, you're getting a discount. So definitely holler at her this week. Um, we're doing this called Glow Body Sculpture, and that's definitely the sponsor. We appreciate Ashley, so definitely give her a shout out. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, Ashley, make sure you call back at the end of the show so that you can also touch bases with some of those that came in at the middle or came in at the end. Also, so you can reiterate what you do, and we so we can give you a shout out. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ashley. 
Hey man, again, that's Glow Body Sculptor, man. We definitely black. Oh, she's black on, oh, man, and she definitely gonna trim the trim the little fat off, whatever you want to type tighten up. Um, Rita D, what you think about the Glow Body? What you think about Body Sculptor? I'm ready. I'm here for it. It's the summer. <laughs> I, I don't know real. if y'all got y'all summer bodies together, uh, but listen. Yeah. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> and then she said it's no ready. touch. You know what I'm saying? No cutting. You know what I'm saying? No none of that. So. All natural. Seems all like natural. it's all natural. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome mommy makeup. Yeah, definitely. All right. Man. I'm for, ready. For one fifth. You get five, three to five inches chopped off you, man. So definitely, yes. man. So we appreciate it, man. Glow body sculpting. So tell me about your week, your weekend, Queens. Who are you starting with? Oh, well. Whoever. Is she already in on the um? All right, we want to we welcome our guests. guests, man. Come on, come on, man. Give us a round of applause, hey, man. Hey, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. For the, yeah, you know excited, excited, for the excited, most excited, allergist, man. So we want to definitely welcome her to the um, Herbal Tea Podcast. She came on the show today, man. We grateful to have her. Um, she's a moss allergist, so she deals with sea moss and things like that. So how are you doing today, Queen? I'm good. How y'all doing? That's what's up, man. We doing good. good. I see all the queens is melanin popping today, man. That sun out giving us good energy. So tell us a little bit about sea moss. Sea moss, um, what I tell everybody is actually good for everything. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in the business for about a year now, a little over a year. Okay. And actually what I have noticed is that um, it affects everybody differently. Okay. You know, everybody is differently. And what I noticed also is that um, the benefits that it provides um, everybody mm -hmm. As far as, you know, different aspects, it, yeah. it triggers um, as far as, like, what's needed, what your body needs mm. at that moment. Naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, naturally. yeah, like, yeah. naturally, if mm. you need that energy, it's provided. Naturally, if, you know, you're having sinus issues and mm. you need that mucus to come out, yeah. it's, it's coming out. Like mm. it, what about um, it's, erectile it's, dysfunction? Give me my... Does it work for dick hard or soft dick or how they say it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the men want to know. Reptile. You know what I'm saying? Wait, Erectile, reptile. I thought I said reptile. <laughs> I'm like, what is he? Where he going with that? <laughs> no. So what about what about erectile dysfunction? Does it does it hit on there or just you know? Not how? more so. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. The I try, fellas. Dysfunctional part. Uh -huh. um, it helps, like I said, give that natural energy. So okay. as far as for the men, it helps provide that that stamina mm. that you you may be, you know, mm. missing, yeah. you know, or that urge, yeah. or you know. That's what's up. So how did you get started doing this? Is this something that you were looking this into? This was something that I was looking into for myself. Okay. You mm. know, because I've I've been on the health journey for I think 2014, 15. which makes it that much. Better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always looking to try new things, and then it was when I tried it, mm. I actually was on my mental cycle and um oh, goodness, I put it in my tea. <laughs> I know little C -mon. I put it in my C -mon. tea work for uh -huh. and like I promise you within like ten to fifteen minutes mm -hmm. my cramps went away. Mm -hmm. wow. I, I cramped wow. really really and this bad. Off, this off the Dr. C B thing like you know Baby. he kind of mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, come on, y'all know Herbal Tea Podcast. <laughs> I was smoking, but uh, you need to stop. But did you get the, <laughs> did, you, did you did you did you kind of get an inspiration off of that? His mm -hmm. works as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, man. He definitely. Yeah, yeah. I definitely did some um, research about it, and then of course I was like, I, I need to try this. Yeah. So yeah. once I tried it, and like I said, within ten minutes my cramps went away. Mm -hmm. I felt like this. It wasn't like a jittery, like, oh, like, what the heck going on? Right. It was like this <laughs> natural, like, it was just like this awesome feeling. And, mm. and within that instant, I was like, oh, my God, I got to tell everybody. Okay. Right. Also, um, one re really quick um, for the guests. Mm. Uh, the engineer wants to get your Instagram information and Facebook information. Okay. Yeah, um, at Instagram is at C underscore Moss Allergist. That's S. E A like S in the ocean, the C mm -hmm. underscore Moss Allergist. That's M O S S O L O G I S T. Mm, okay. And then um, that was a good spell because I was looking was. for the word that was gonna be off. Like I'm looking. Go ahead. <laughs> that was yeah, a good spell. Yeah, good oh, I got spell. a serious question for you though. Mm. So. You're saying this really helps with thyroid issues because mm -hmm. a lot of women in our community, they definitely suffer from for thyroid issues mm -hmm. with cramps have, and I whatnot. Have, I have customers that have thyroid issues. Uh -huh. mm. I'm definitely going to get your information. Man, we're mad. Hey, see, see how the podcast coming up? We got all this black business surrounding us, man. I'm loving it right now, man. Definitely, man. So we want to And then also, I'm sorry, my Facebook is at The Moss Allergist. That's T-H-E-A mm. underscore 
Monstologist. M O S S O L O G I S T. Man, I give you five dollars. You spell that shit again, though. M O S S O L O G I S T. Yeah, everybody. Oh, everybody was hanging on that shit like she gonna get an S wrong. Just make sure you get your money. Just her money. That's my grand, my baby. He gonna throw her a couple dollars. Like you said, what I. I said I, I couldn't get it wrong. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, who yeah. I am. <laughs> hey, man, but de- uh, definitely welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast, man. We Thank are sponsored you. today um, by Glow Body Sculpting. You know what I'm saying? We can go get your body chopped up. Make sure when you go holler at her, um, you tell her Herbal Tea Podcast sent you. It's normally $225 to get it, but since you're a Herbal Tea watcher and subscriber, she's going to do it for $150. So we appreciate y'all. We got the mossologist up in here, and she definitely kicked it with us about sea moss and what it could do for y'all. Make and she, she definitely has Glow popping Man, all her, over. her shit is popping, man. Yeah. The Indian can like, come on, man. Huh? I mean, I it's also do man. waxing and I do facial. Okay, you do facial well, too so as well? well. Okay, we, well, we got to call her in. Call her, what's your name? Where you calling from? Call her. You got an echo on the thing. We can barely hear you, call her. We can barely hear her. Gotta... Hello, call her. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, we yeah. can hear you better now. What's your name? Where you calling from? My name is Bonica and I'm calling from Texas. Oh, what up, though? You said Bonica? Monica. Oh, Monica. That's what, oh, thank yeah. you, Monica. Well, our question for the day is, would you give your spouse all of your codes, like your phone code, your Facebook, or do you want his, or is it important to your relationship? Yes, I would do both. Okay. I, would, I feel like you don't have any secrets. There shouldn't be any secrets unless you're playing games. Mm-hmm. Yes, he has my password. I have his. Mm-hmm. Um internet all of that email we have each other's and you know i was out one day my phone stopped working so i took his phone Uh because i don't feel like there's no secrets and he gave me his phone freely but do you think that let me ask you this question queen and i appreciate your answer let me ask you a question do you think that sometimes it can get involved where you having a conversation with somebody else personally so just because he has your code he can be in that person's business as well if they come to you being vulnerable and trying to talk to you you know they just think they're having a conversation with you he can open up and be in that conversation well, I think that no, because I think that if if you're with your spouse and mm-hmm. someone else comes to you, mm-hmm. that's something you share. It could be a pillow talk and everything, but your spouse should know uh-huh. not to take it any further, okay. not to repeat anything that was told, and you let that person know. Well, you know, I'm going to probably discuss this with whomever, Joe Blow or whatever, right? And that you have that understanding with that person as well. Mm-hmm. But do you do? You, but do you? But do you? I mean, does the other see having access? Sometimes when you open up and be vulnerable to different people, man, and you don't, you don't know who else has access to that conversation. Does that kind of like? Does that kind of? You know what I'm saying? It's like almost a deceptive. Not saying you being deceptive from the other person's point of view, and your husband may never go into your conversations like that. But um, do you think that that's kind of like you know, kind of pushing the board of somebody just trying to be confident? You know, just be confided into you. Mm. I apologize if that was too much. I apologize. I personally don't feel that way Mm -hmm. because I feel like there's no secrets in marriage. That's what's up. I feel like that's for me. Yes. I'm just talking about my own personal experience. Uh I don't feel like there should be any secrets. And I feel like if you let that person up front know, because I have friends that come come to me Mm -hmm. and they'll tell me about situations and everything like that. Right. And... I would tell my husband, I said, well, you know, so-and-so is going through this and everything like that. I'm trying to advise her. What do you think on looking at it on a man's point of view? Mm-hmm. So that's how we deal with that. That's and then, real. So, so he you, already knows. So you tell your husband, all oh, your damn business. I, nobody can't come and tell you nothing because you're going to tell all oh, your damn business. Hey, <laughs> hey, Monica, hey, we ain't telling her Monica shit. <laughs> yeah, that we nigga going to know, oh, Monica from Texas. Huh? We hey, ain't telling you nothing. Hey, ain't tell you. hey, Monica, thank you for calling in, I Queen, definitely. And make, sure, and make sure you check out Glow Body <laughs> Sculpting. Black owned body sculpt. Also, uh, we got the C Mileages in here today, so go C- ahead and visit her site. Also, Instagram and Facebook. Get you some. You should wait. I should have said. Do you ship out of state? I ship oh. out of state. Yes. Look at that. The U.S. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Hey, beautiful people. I love it. I love it. Hey, thank I'm you. you, black people. Hey, thank, man, you. thank you, Queen. thank you, appreciate thank you. you, Queen. Thank you for calling. Thank you. All, thank you. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Yes, you ma'am. as well. Yes, ma'am, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'm ready to answer if, this question. Hold on, let me ask one. Let me just say this real quick. Um, anybody that know Monica in Texas, she gonna tell your goddamn business. So do not <laughs> tell her nothing. 
<laughs> yes, We're right, saying man. that. Don't forget to call in, guys. Hey, man, don't forget to call she in. She just gonna tell her husband your business. Yeah, but we don't know how he hold water. No, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so we gonna give call. Make sure y'all call us in at two four eight. 854-9850. Bet it up, bet it up, man. Herbal Tea Podcast. So um, the first question for the day is, um, I had a good one today, man. Well, what was the question you had? Question. What was the let's, question you had? Let's answer that question. Oh, yeah, we didn't answer our question the question the of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at y'all. So, so let, me ask you, let me ask you this question. So this is the question of the day, Jesse. Would you? Is it cool for your man to have all your... Yeah, I heard this question. I'm just flabbergasted by it, and that's I just, why I got to answer. All like, right, go ahead, baby. Let's okay, about my it. husband, yes. My boyfriend, hell no. Nah. Mm. Shoot, I don't trust you yet. Yeah, you that's willing to, You willing to uh, take a bullet by me? Okay. You willing to fight for and me? And then you don't know how you long You willing to show me that, you, that I'm your woman? Yeah. Until then, hell no. Nah. That's real shit. That's real. <laughs> yeah, that's, I just feel like, why? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's too much. Because that's what we do in today's age. Yeah. Sure. What's the point? Mm-hmm. We so you, so you said, so you, said you, know? you wouldn't want to even if you was married? No, I don't do the whole phone thing going yeah. in. That's, that's your my phone bit. privacy. Mm-hmm. You know? That's real. That's real. You have your thing. Let me ask you this. If his phone go off at 4 o'clock in the morning, you the only person around the phone, you downstairs. <laughs> Would you look and see who the fuck calling see, at 4 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. I'm going to assume that it's about business. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, your yeah, mind. have your yeah. business. Yeah, yeah. That's they real tough. They out here making that money. Yeah, what about you, Rita D? My the great co-host. Good. I see you smacking mm. the jack. Dang, man, give me a bug. Give me a bug. <laughs> nah, you nah. You got to order. I'm, I am. Go on Instagram or Facebook and order it. I am. I I'm got the inside to, connect. I see. And you Period. glowing. Go ahead. Seymour. Answer the goddamn. Would y'all get the Seymour? <laughs> so, this nah. is what's good. You go ahead. I'll listen. With the question in regards to would my spouse have all of my passwords to social media oh. and or my cell phone? That's that is a hard, tough one. Mm-hmm. Because what happens if you got to go to the hospital and um, he's the only one there and you give him your phone? <laughs> I mean... I don't have anything to hide. I feel like, you know, the spouse is probably the next close person to me other than my mom. So I will ask me when I get married. I don't know. Okay. I mean, in that exactly. instance, in the hospital, <laughs> if y'all are that close, yeah. I mean, you would, you should be able to call my mom. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you don't need to get on my phone. when I get like, married. Boyfriends, that's why I'm like, boyfriends why? and girlfriends don't have rights. They will kick you out the hospital if you say I'm the boyfriend. Mm-hmm. You're not that's on no paperwork. Exactly. So, just be real. Yeah, your spouse could probably get it, but that boyfriend or girlfriend, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. Like I, I said, don't know how long you're going to be around. I don't have anything to hide, so. I can yeah. agree to that. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know? Hey, man, as far as me, um, I don't mind sharing it because I feel like that um, if we're going to share a space on this world and this planet, like you said, we shouldn't have no, we shouldn't have no, uh, nothing that we got to hide, man. Everything should be on the floor. You know, you take my phone, I take your phone, whatever is the first thing that, you know. We, cause, so the cause, love circle knows about it. See, you getting too much of my business, <laughs> God damn it. I'm trying to talk about the circle. You know what I'm saying? She can not have a fast You know what I'm saying? So anyway, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, like I'm saying, but like I'm saying. like Monica from Dick yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I all you got there. We was on that, we was off that the third episode. Hey, hey, but, hey, uh, but no. Stick with herbal tea, you get all hey, that there tea. You go, hey, man, hey, don't up. forget that tea. Man. I forgot about the love there you go. circle. But at the end I of the love day, the uh, love circle. I'm thinking about up. my own love circle there while you, you talking. All right. <laughs> but, uh, but let me put <laughs> first. You are ask, the nappy-headed. No, I'm locking out shit, man. Oh, shit. But let me ask you this question, though. I just don't, I feel like that Um, it's cool to share because we don't, that's so petty to what we're trying to build in our empire, you know what I'm saying, as far as being kings and queens, so a cell phone, who talking to who or what's discussed in conversations, that's really not big to me. Man, I don't, and I think once you got to go through people's stuff, you know what I'm saying, I think that's when the relationship is kind of over, you know what I'm saying, as yeah. far as looking. So as far as you having the code, I don't mind because I trust you enough not to go through my shit, you know what I'm saying? But if something happened to me, yeah, go through my shit if you feel like you know you want to feel that. But I think a lot of times in relationships, the other person be insecure because because the one person doesn't secure that. You know what I'm saying? A lot right. of people have insecurities because they can't trust because you give them, you know, you give them that shit in their mind, that thoughts in their mind. Right. And yeah, um, that's what Well, you I can think. just be 100. Yeah, you can just be 100. I mean, because we too old to be lying and shit. You know what I'm I saying? Swear. We too old to be playing games. Right now in our life, right now, we should be building our empire, building our generational wealth and our financial freedom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's so, the age we're yeah, at. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, You know, those 20 year olds, they there don't care go. about none of that. Yeah, so but we, I do have a question for y'all for today. Um, um, 
that I, I had a conversation earlier this week and I found to be so interesting. Okay, we're going to hop on that question call real quick. Caller, how you doing? Where you calling from and what's your name? Thanks for calling Herbal T. Caller. Caller, what's up? How you doing? What's your name and where you calling from? Uh, my name is Dwayne. I'm from North Carolina. Oh, what up, though, Dwayne, man? We got another brother on the phone, man. I appreciate you calling. What's, What's going on, man? So, um, much, man. Our, our question for the day is, man, um, which this is, do you want your spouse or is it cool for your spouse to have all your calls as far as your phone, you know, your social media, anything like that? Do you would you want to give it to your spouse or would you want her to have yours or um, I'll, I'll let you know how? What do you think about that? And if you're a homosexual, uh, I apologize. Do him him thing, but you know. Sorry, right, my wife. Uh, she does have all my calls to my phone. Oh, she does? Yeah, she does. That's why it has to keep peace in the house. Mm. Mm. So you so say... How do you feel about that, Dwayne? Like, do you feel like that's an invasion of your privacy or not? Uh, I do a little bit. Right. Hey, don't get put out fucking with the podcast now. Nah, you better don't say it too much. Don't take listen, too much now. Nah. Listen, listen. <laughs> right, no, but, we grown. But, uh, We're having a no, grown but, conversation. Like, I get yeah, go ahead, trying talk. to keep peace no, with but your you wife. Got, but I understand things, what she was but, saying. So, Dwayne, you really don't want to do that, but you have to just to make her happy. Right, yes. See what we got to do to make these queens happy? And they don't even appreciate us, brother, man. But, <laughs> hey, but, <laughs> but, but let me ask you this, though, Dwayne. Um, do you have the code to all her stuff as well? Uh, yeah, I do. Tell the truth, bro. You do? Honestly. I do, yeah. Now, you paused on that. Yeah, I do, shit. Nah, yeah, there we go. Nah, do man. Do you go but, on but, her but, page, but, 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 Do yeah. you go on her page, the one? No, I don't go on. No. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Man, we appreciate. Hey, Dwayne, man. Hey, Dwayne, man. We appreciate your honesty, man. And um, definitely, because one thing about it, man, what men do is happy wife, happy life, man. Fuck what the world think. You know what I'm saying? If she want these codes, take these codes. Because I got another phone she don't know about. (laughs) (laughs) All right, man. Appreciate you calling, bro. No problem. Hey, thanks, man. Have a good week. Hell yeah, I got a phone in the whole trunk, nigga. You ain't gonna never see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what was your question today, Jesse? So my off question, and I found like very interesting. So, would you be comfortable with dating a guy <clears throat> who takes care of kids that are not his? Okay, situation. He got a baby mama. They not together no more. He upfront tells you, like, this is what it is. I take care of my kids, but I occasionally help her with hers too, financially, because I don't, I, I like kids, and you know you don't want to see no kids. That's so their brother without. and sister, yeah. So yeah. yeah, you know, mm. and I felt it, but how would you feel about that? Mm, let's Somebody go. Let's go like, to the no. Let's go to the, let's go, <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the guest first. What do what you think about that, Mossologist? Sea moss allergies. I'm a nice person, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna say yeah, regardless. <laughs> I mean, I have a child, so mm-hmm. kids is mm-hmm. a soft place for me. So. Yeah, so you do. So you wouldn't mind if he, if the, if his kids over there, he get the other baby and be like, I'm gonna bring him too. You know what I'm saying? And take him out to eat with us. See. See. Oh, that's not cool. I thought you just <laughs> said you were nice. Oh, you do. Oh, you were mine. Oh, okay. No. Okay, 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 okay. I understand. What you think about that, Rita D? That's a good question. I mean, I'm all for the kids as well. So the more the merrier. My thing is, kids did not ask to be here. They did. Just because they have different parents, a different father, a different mother, doesn't mean that that's not that they shouldn't be able to go. I'm yeah. never gonna say that my mates, kids siblings can't come unless it's a situation where their mom is like really totally disrespectful now we don't have to take care of those mm-hmm. yeah. we taking care of them and we taking them someplace and mm-hmm. we doing something for them that's one that's thing, mm-hmm. that, that's, yeah. one thing that's one thing because that's not our obligation yeah. but i feel like because that is their sibling i feel like i'm all for it come on that's real okay, so what I'm about you relis. jesse p i'm a relis right okay so oh no no I'm that's, that's not you no. i have a relis of this situation <laughs> and i know you a relis period i Maybe I just didn't put it all Man, out there. Man, get on me. your lockhead, yeah, whole shit. Come Listen, on. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I ain't got no problem with it, but I bet you I'm going to be baby mama. I bet you I'm meeting her. Oh, you got to meet her? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that thing was just blocking too much. But here we go. <laughs> You gonna take the mic down? We got to get this. You know what? Nigga, you need to get your show. Okay, we gonna give you the summer. We gonna give you the summer. But when, when it comes time, come. You ain't gonna be man, nobody's blockhead. Nothing. This nigga to take the whole the mic devil, down. Get the fuck out of here, man. Stop touching shit, man. Nah, come but on, I'm man. Like oh, yeah. I don't. I don't uh, feel like 
that's an issue unless I, I got to see where she stands with that. Because she going to know who I am. It ain't going to be now. <laughs> I could still have him if I want him type situation. I need mm -hmm. to see the whole perspective of that. I hear what you said, my baby, mm -hmm. but I got to know that this is not a waste of my time. Yeah, I mean, I'm But don't we always feel like we can still have him if we want to? I mean, that to me is like, oh, I don't care because I've already had him. Yeah, I'm not worried about, I ain't worried about that. Yeah, because at that point, you start going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then you, you, know? start, then you yeah. start making up shit in your yeah, mind and stuff like that. Yeah. But you can't worry about that. If you've been in this situation, because you might have been in this situation before. I ain't been in this situation. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, don't I just, put just, yourself in this that type of right. situation. This was a conversation <laughs> that was in front of me, and I was like, dang, that would be good for the show. But. I just was like, mm, I don't know if I can stand that just because yeah. I'm a jealous nature individual mm. and I know how females is good. What is your I'm birthday? A woman. I'm a Pisces, baby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we're not even going to speak on that Pisces shit. All right. <laughs> all, right, next, all, right well, all right. All right, I got a question. You hate the realness? No, I love y'all. I love y'all. You know what inspired me is because y'all can have, y'all don't have a, a, a what what everybody, y'all don't care what people think about y'all. I think sure, y'all, I think that, that's part, I think y'all live life and um, that's a big people. inspiration. So, fellas, hmm. y'all can all, you can get a Pisces and she, get a drunk. <laughs> you have a good time, but I'm um, talking shit. But um, next first question of the day is, what's one thing that you won't take into your next relationship that you did wrong? What's one flaw that you have, and that you do, that you don't want to take into the next relationship that you figured out that you found out in your last relationship, or that you haven't took in your new relationship? I ain't mean to make y'all think like that, man. But hey. I ain't gonna be <laughs> <laughs> niggas <laughs> like. Ain't that, that's ain't up there, nigga. Uh, <laughs> that, that's deep. Man, yeah, that I'm is. I'm not going to be so passive mm. and then Ooh, blow up and, and being argumentative because, yes, as a Pisces, we have yeah. a tendency to let it slide mm. and let it slide and let it slide. And then we blowing up. Yeah. And then y'all looking like, what the hell I do wrong? Right, right. It's so much that we didn't. Slightly told you that bothers us. You ignored it, mm. and when it gets to that boiling point, Boom. it's fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But right. like, 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 <laughs> get the fuck oh, yeah, like, right. sure, I don't want to do that no more. I'm just gonna be straight up. Is, is that a call? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, okay, caller. Carla, what's going on? Welcome, Welcome to, to Herbal Tea. Herbal Welcome to the Herbal Tea Podcast. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, this Tammy. What's up, what's Tammy? Tammy? Where you, you calling from, Queen? You calling from the deep? Okay. Side? East, west, west side. So our question for the day is: Do you want your spouse to have your passes to your phone, your social media? Do you want theirs? Is that a deal breaker? Or is that something that you could deal with? Uh, it shouldn't matter if you're in a committed relationship and you ain't got nothing to hide. It mm. shouldn't even be a password. That's real. That's real. Because it's nothing but a password. Wait, yeah. tell me, in a relationship or a marriage? Both. Mm. No. Somebody in the it's background said both. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that in the background? Because I feel they said both. Yeah, they was. So, yeah, because I'm saying if you're going to be committed, you're going to be fully committed, whether you're in a relationship or a marriage. Yeah. You're treated the same way. You don't want to be cheated on in neither one of them, right? Right. So, Tammy, when you ready to be have on your hot girl summer tip, you telling me you going to let Booth thing in that password? No. He didn't piss yeah, you off not all not winter not long. Dang. It's, it's not a hot girl summer. Hell no, it's a couple yeah. summer. Hey. It's a power couple hey. summer. You power know what I'm saying? We about to win. Yeah. Yeah. We at the beach. Man, Shane Park got the white party tonight. I may shoot But down. it would hurt That's your feelings. Thing. It would hurt yeah. your feelings yeah. to know he got two more cell phones on the side like Uncle Dove said, shoot, that cell phone is in the background somewhere that you don't know about. See, y'all took that around with that. Oh, because that's fact. That's fact. But, <laughs> but Tammy, we appreciate you calling. Thank you, Queen. We appreciate you. And um, definitely, when you get a chance, make sure you check out Glow Body Sculpting, man. And um, we definitely hit and them up this weekend, knock them five inches off. We love you, Queen. Yes, yes, see my colleges. All right, thank you. All right, back to our question of the day. We was talking about um, what, what, Rita D? What's uh, my bad? My uh, moss, see moss allergies. He got to get a gun. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, that's that street shit kicked in. Right. But um, so what? What out of your last relationship? What didn't you take into your new relationship that's making it better? As far as you, what, what did you change? Or did you change or did, did you change the type of guys that you dated? Um, I would say both. Oh, okay. Okay, talk to us. Um, but more so, I think I changed um mm. 
just being more open. Yeah. Vulnerable. Mm-hmm. That's a big word. Because yeah. I can be very closed off. Mm-hmm. And um, I just start th- seeing things from, you know, both perspectives, yeah. both ways, and mm-hmm. trying to be open to, you know, new possibilities. And yeah. I feel like if I did something new, I would get something new. Mm, new results. Yeah, yeah. New thoughts, like new that. results. That's like definitely, that. man. Hell yeah. What about you, Rita D? What was the question? Um, what, what, are, <laughs> what, 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 what did you do in your last relationship that you found out about yourself that you won't take into your new relationship? Well, I'm single. Okay. Um, I mean, but you know. So in the future, you talk your shit then. So in the future, what I probably won't take in my next relationship is probably mm. insecurity. Mm. Mm. I took, I became insecure. Mm. Because of things that probably happened, such as you know, like inf- like cheating. Um, so it was kind of like, well, you know, like women ask, like, well, what do I do wrong or things like that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I would probably ask more questions because mm-hmm. I'm not a person that's all in your business, want to know what's going on. Mm-hmm. But I found out had I asked more questions, I probably would not mm-hmm. be single right now yeah. because I would be knowing what's going on. Yeah. So I think for me, it's probably insecurities because I already know who I am and I think and feel like I am the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. When you dating somebody, you gotta have that same, confidence. you know, confidence yeah. in that relationship that you mm-hmm. got in your personal friendships with other people. Yeah. So I think for me, it'll probably be insecurities. That's real. I hate how men change. <laughs> Y'all motherfucking man. What you men. mean, how men change? Okay, so change. how many did I, I didn't met you at the club? If you, you gave me that pop. pussy, that's your fault. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't change nothing. I met you uh, at the club. What? Mm-hmm. You you court me, you do all that bullshit you want to do. Yeah. But then as soon as we a couple, oh, you can't go out with your girls no more. I want to start that insecure shit. Now, it ain't always us. Okay. It I'm is listening. not always us. I got an answer us. for y'all, though. Go ahead. I'm starting to agree <laughs> with my sea queen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sea moss queen. Over here, uh-huh. that you gotta change who you date to. Yeah, though. I think yeah, I think a lot yeah. of people. I think a lot of people start they they date what they want instead of what they need. Yeah. So when you date what you want and what you need, you gotta deal with the difference in that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. a lot of times we love people more than they love us, yes. and that's when you get caught in the fucked up situation. You yes. know what I'm saying? Just like somebody said last week, you gotta marry somebody who love you just a little bit more mm-hmm. than you love them for that trust you. But what you far as what you were saying is hanging with your girls and all that shit. I think real niggas don't mind. It's just y'all don't have to close the club. You know what I'm saying? When you going out, you don't have yeah, to stay no, to two. You don't got a key. Right. You're not finna close and count no money. So why the fuck is you staying at two o'clock? Hey, you I know what I'm that. saying? Now you cannot, you know, come home reasonably, just like as I will. Even though I'm a man, but my safety, me protecting you and providing is my first thing as a man that I'm gonna do. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no staying out to three, four o'clock in the morning with hoes for what? All you gonna do is get into some trouble. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to be controlling, but I'm just. I have a question. Trying, I have okay. a question. How often, when in a relationship? How often should you date? Should you go out on dates? Like, should that be something that's, you know, I'll let y'all answer first. especially mm-hmm. when you and a person don't live in the same household? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. talking about when they courting you? Yeah, that's okay. when they just be coming over the fuck, I keep have, it moving, I have no dating. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, they went out. Level. She be like, we ain't went out nowhere. Yeah, Hell no. I have a real requirement <laughs> for guys to support me now. Like, I've always <laughs> wanted. A man to give me flowers, and I don't give a fuck who you is. Mm. Now, so my that you. requirement is a must-have for me. It shows that you really care, give or that my. you're very interested. Yeah. If you just trying to bone, you don't give a fuck. Mm. But if you really are interested, you're going to give me some. You know, yeah. I, I ain't asking for a million dollars, but right. damn, you could go to the night nine cent store. I mean. Uh, CVS or Walmart give you me a ten dollar bundle. Nigga. Y'all got me messed up. You could get a, 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 a bouquet of flowers for five dollars. But really? the question is, how often should you date in your relationship? You're not talking I about like flowers. In That's part of dating. <laughs> In relationship, dating is a must. I feel like if you guys don't live in the same house and you dating and it's exclusively, I feel like at least two to three times a week. Mm. At least. So what, That's the what about when you're an entrepreneur and you know you. 
you, you, you build a, you building a brand. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say this. Let me. Let me I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm a, How do you do we, it? We got a caller calling in. Uh -uh. All right. I'm gonna I'm say this. This is on both levels of things. First of all, first, if you're not an entrepreneur, if you just work, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your dating should be, you know, maybe on a Tuesday, y'all cook together in the kitchen. Maybe yeah, on a I Thursday, said. you know what I'm saying? Y'all sit in the backyard, smoke, chill, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. on, Wait, everybody doesn't smoke. Okay, well, if they smoke, chill, have a drink, you know, square ass <laughs> niggas, get hot, whatever they do. But, you know, and then on a Saturday, you may go out, you know what I'm saying? That's if you're not an entrepreneur. Mm. If you are an entrepreneur, and you got to think about the big picture, even though, see, see, a lot of people don't know what success comes sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So if we if we build this as a couple, shit, we gotta find little shit to do. Like baby, let's watch our show at eight o'clock on the phone together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like or oh, let's watch a movie on Netflix. I like that. You FaceTime. know what I'm saying? FaceTime. Because I'm out here doing. Yeah, I'm gonna put this hour away. I'm gonna sit on the phone. You know what I'm saying? We gonna chill and mm -hmm. do that. So because do you feel like with her asking you like, hey? take this out you feel like that's taken away from you an hour a day or no it's, it's, it's not taken away minutes. from us i'm gonna say this because sometimes in entrepreneurship we get selfish with our time because we barely have time for ourselves our, if you think of any entrepreneur it's all about giving the people so you can get something in return later always sit setting seeds you know what i'm saying so when we finally find that time that we want to just chill then here you come like baby you want and you like nigga i just put the controller in my hand i just got in the first quarter i'm playing the game baby you want to you know, it could come off as nagging, but that comes from being comfortable in relationships. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And sometimes you got to let them know, this is why I'm not happy. And, nigga, this is not going to work. Even though we got to build together, we got to find some way. I know, I know, hey, sex is good, but I got to figure out, I got to find a way to, you know, I got to learn how to love you every day. You so know what I'm saying? So basically don't allow the romance to leave the relationship. It's going to always leave. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no, to. no, listen, listen, it, listen. It, it it's going to always gotta leave. It back. You just got to catch it back. It's going to leave, come back, leave, mm -hmm. come back, because you're going to get, you know, you know yeah. why? Because you're going to get content. You are. With your relationship. But that's why you got to you know communicate with that person. Yeah. See, I feel like going into the relationships or courting, as um, Jess said, mm. courting is, you got to do the same thing yeah. that we was doing before because, you know, we get complacent and things like mm -hmm. that, especially dating. Like, I'm single, I'm dating. Mm -hmm. Look. You're not just going to be able to pop up over my my house. Mm -mm. We got to go somewhere, somewhere. But that's... Women, we are our worst. Mm. Our worst critics, our worst enemies. We got to stop allowing these men out here mm. to get the goods. To not put no oh, effort no, in. No, to not no. put no effort in. <laughs> You're not about to just keep on calling me, hey, what you doing? Send W-Y-A. W-Y-D. Yeah. Right. Don't do that. Yeah. It's so Period. frustrating because you know what? You could be a really good guy. But like I said, sometimes communication can just so mess all up. have a problem with planning a date? Like, why y'all always want us to... We got to pay, plan, no. pump gas. Well, God well, damn, well, why y'all well, don't well, plan? Well, yeah. uh, uh, I'm usually the one no planning the date. Right. So I, I don't have no the issue. I'm just not paying for the date. But I plan it. I got you. You pay? I will pay for the date. No, yeah. I will. Sometimes. This is the nigga that you fucking with. Like all the money going back into the castle. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We don't need time. to be. Yeah, who care time. who pay? You know what I'm saying? It don't like, matter. Like I had a great first date this past mm. weekend. You did? Went, yeah, we went to Jazz Bar out in Ann Arbor, real Straight nice. Up. Yeah, real Girl, nice. You smiling? You, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But he don't know. Was you on your lockhead host shit? Kind of, sort of. You gave that put? No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, no. nigga, we don't want to hear the next story, man. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> what we were talking about. No, I'm saying, uh, like, I'm saying, like, I'm going to take him out this Friday. Okay. He don't even know it. Oh, you Already? Already? Why not? What if he got something to do? What if he's not on the second date? He's like, this is his date. Damn. No. No. You want that ice cream? I'm going to say, he coming, kiss me, he coming, kiss me. Oh, okay, so we, we got a honey. We got a caller. Nah. Caller, what's up? Caller, what's going on? Thanks for calling. We're Herbert T Podcast. What is your name and where you calling from? Caller, thanks for calling Herbert T Podcast. What's your name and where you calling from? D from Roseville. What up, D from Roseville? Nigga, what's popping with you, baby oh, man? No man, you our favorite caller, nigga. I ain't sent you nothing yet, but I'm still definitely gonna smoke with you one day, my baby. So the question for the for the, the question for the day is, um, do you want your would you allow your spouse? Do you want your spouse to have all your passwords or to Facebook, phone, anything like that? Do you have all hers? Does she have all yours? Talk to us, man. Uh, my phone has no password or nothing, so it rings. You can see whatever come on there, mm. alert, whatever come on there. At this time, uh, at this day and age, I ain't got nothing to ask. 
Mm-hmm. Now, if you go through it and you run around that history, uh, you might want to put the phone down. Mm. Mm. So you might want to put the phone down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at the end uh, of the-, the video, the, the video history is something I'm probably gonna do that wrong. <laughs> oh, the, you said the video history. Yeah. Oh, you talking about the Google? Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. <laughs> do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes you got to leave the past in the past, man. You got to keep them motherfuckers buried. You know what I'm saying? But, um, hey, man. Can't get mad. Hey, man, but. Before y'all hooked up. You said what, Queen? Can't get mad if those dates was before y'all hooked up. Yeah, so, so let me ask you this, bro. If you was went to her phone and you seen some shit, you know, two years before you met her, you know what I'm saying, her doing whatever, would you get mad? How would you feel about that? So you saying what no? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you, man. Years before, I just, uh, no. Nigga, I'd be man. jealous, nigga. If I see her hugging a nigga at the high school graduation, I'm mad. <laughs> who the fuck was you hugging? Is that your cousin? <laughs> nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. 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 Communication. Communication. That's what it is. You be teaching us something every motherfucking week, man. Hey, man, so when you and the wife get married, man, I remember you said y'all was getting married. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's up in the air. It's, oh, see, oh, okay. so, Y'all good? Y'all oh, good, right? Oh, yeah, we're great. Oh, okay. We actually, oh, okay. we actually absolutely. Okay, man. We just, I just wanted to back. All right, D, who That's, caused the wedding? You or her? You say what? Who paused the wedding? You or her? Pause the wedding? Yeah, who has the wedding on pause? You or her? It's a uh, collective. Oh, okay. Because okay. I, I definitely was <laughs> I mean, nigga need a couple well, hours. You know what, D? I want to yeah. give a shout out. I'm giving a shout out to D. I'm giving a shout out to D shout and his wife. D. We love for y'all, not bringing man. that toxic man, marriage every, into the system. Hey, you know what? One thing I say about you, D, you always come positive he on the relationship side of game, nigga. I love you, bro. When I see you, I'm going to smoke with you, man. Thanks for calling, my baby. What's up? 100, 100. Hell yeah, 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 man. We love D from Roseville, man. We got to send him something, man, for the. For the thing, just tell me who paused it, nigga. Them go with all the nigga that way. <laughs> Shit, man. So, um, so yeah, getting back to dating. I mean, dating is real. Mm. I feel like dating is a must. Like Dub said, it's a mm. lot of places and things that people can do. Um, to you know, go out that's free and things like that. Like you said, yeah. the white party is going yeah. on. That shame yeah. party. Yeah. You don't even have to buy a ticket if y'all just go down there, sit in y'all car, and <laughs> just go listen. Do that shit hey, yeah. I might do yeah, it too. She, man, she put me up on it. I never. Yeah, did, I did man. put him up on it. I did. You know, I tried to ride, ride, smoke, or ride and drink with your with your boo and just had them conversations. You ain't gotta go. I like, I like yeah, I love ride and the, talk. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me f- hold on. Just Detroit let me say this before y'all get this off. Just hold on, man. You just let me just say this real quick. A car date sometimes could be better than a whole day. Just yeah. sitting in the car talking. Yeah. Nigga, that shit be lit. Nigga, y'all just chilling, having y'all little mm-hmm. sip music on. Mm-hmm. Niggas being vulnerable, not worried about the world outside of y'all. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of relationships will last better. Y'all just, you know, go in the driveway, sit in the car, let yeah. you bring the drink and put some old school music on. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I thought you said it put some hoes on. Oh, we may <laughs> put them on too if she like it. I'm not a threesome nigga, but I participate. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> All right, next question I got for y'all. Okay, um, I asked this on Facebook earlier this week too as well. Make sure y'all follow Herbal Tea Podcast. Make sure y'all fuck with Glow Body Sculpting, man. They definitely sponsor the podcast. Go get your body sculpt. $150. They usually charge $225. Go get them back rows knocked down for $150. Hell yeah. All right, next question, man. Yo, and the C Make sure y'all follow the C Moss Allergists. We about to go ahead and get our bodies right. We about to get our mental right. And definitely when you take that in, it, it enhances all the minerals that we need for our body to grow. Vitamin E, vitamin D. It don't make your dick hard, but you can fuck a long time. I'm fucking hard with long time. It might it's break really down that belly fat though, yeah. low key. And man, and look at her skin. Her skin is Come, her skin. Like, I can't even. She, is. she look exotic. I swear if y'all's in the... Rihanna I got on man, my face. Definitely, so. Man, definitely, uh, man. Uh, uh, all right, uh, next question I'm, for I'm the like Queens. Um, your husband and fire, father get into an argument. Them niggas at each other neck. Your husband say, Bae, let's go. <laughs> and your father say, she ain't going nowhere. Whose side do y'all take, man? We're going to start with the guest. We're going to start with the guest, man. I'm going to stick beside him. I'm going to stick beside him. 
Like, so you gonna go with your husband? Yeah, of course. You gotta leave. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll see you later, Daddy. Okay. I love you. Yeah, love you. <laughs> what about you, Quinn? What about you? I'm picking up bro? my purse and I'm fixing me a plate and I'm out the door. You gone? I'm gone. What if your dad knock your play out your hand? Like, take my goddamn <laughs> food. <laughs> you go. It's okay, Dad. <laughs> Come over here and get a play tomorrow when you at work. Nah, nah. I'm nigga, you, I want that kid. Give me that, no, you, I, look, and give me that battery you to that car, you, you not, listen, mm-hmm. you're not fucking me, Pops. And I'm not about to pass up the thing, dog. Dad, dad know that. Too. Dad know so that. So cut it out. Yeah. I got to live with this person. Ready to Hey, caller, caller. Where you calling Carla, from? Caller, what's going on? Where you calling from and what's your name? I'm from Detroit. You hey. said, my bad, what's your name again, caller? This is Camille. Oh, okay. What's going on, Queen? How you doing? So our question for the day is, would you give your spouse your codes to your phone or Facebook and everything, or do you want him to have yours? Or what do you think that is? Is that a deal breaker in your relationship? Talk to us, a caller. Appreciate it. Right. So I don't think it's a problem, but I don't think it should be mandatory either. So it's just, if, if they want it, I don't know why they would want it, but mm-hmm. if they would I don't have anything to hide Mm -hmm. so it's like it's cool but I don't think that's something that you have to do in your relationship either because I do um, believe in boundaries and you know your own space but definitely if the question was there I don't have a problem with doing it so let me ask you this question how long in a relationship does it take for a man to access all that um, information um like being married yeah (laughs) Thank you. That's all. Being married, that's it. Carl, you just sound like you got a fat ass. What's your Instagram (laughs) name? (laughs) You sound like you sexy. I apologize to the love, you know, but I just want to know. But um, you said, you said, you said, so, so it's got to be married. It's it's no time limit as far as just, um, as far as dating. You know what I'm saying? Not fiance. To be married, otherwise. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> made man. Hey, we appreciate you calling, man. Thank you for calling in, man. Make sure you check Glow Body Sculpting out, man. We they definitely the engine behind this today, and we appreciate glow. you, man. Hey. Hell yeah, man. Go get that body chopped up, man, and definitely make sure y'all check out the C Moss allergies get your minerals right and get get your body and your skin looking good yeah okay instagram and also facebook and facebook as well so rita d what would you leave you said you would leave with your dude you ain't even never answered yeah um so this would probably never happen at my household the c mileages can probably attest to this but this would never probably happen in my household my dad is like real laid back anybody that i probably love your daddy i know right he is cool laid back however my dad i mean i'm 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 out i gotta go home Cause I, but you know your dad ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong. He's like, not, nigga, but also I'm going to. I gotta. I, this is my marriage. My dad gave me away. But nigga, he but, did. He, he gave me away to my away. husband. So it's time for me to bounce. I'm out. I'm gonna I'm look at it from a male point of view. If, to, if it was my mom and, and, my, and my wife, you, you know what I'm saying. And what I say is. Bitch, don't raise your voice in my mama. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who the fuck you is. Nigga, bitch, you got to go and nigga, my mama going first, nigga. So I don't care. Y'all daddies may be different. But but it is. The relationship. If you raise your voice in my mama, nigga, it's gonna be a whole problem. A whole problem. I hold on what the mother I do. The mamas is so different. You know they carry that. I don't Nigga, don't don't get, don't get a little out of your your league with my mama. Don't go a little left with your yeah. snappy your neck. I cut your ass off. Yeah. Man, you hell no. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm listening. I ain't trying to get religious, but it does say in the word when you was a child, you thought like a child, but when you became a grown ass man, you put away those childish things. When you left the home and cling to your wife or cling to your husband, guess what? That don't mean you run. Tell tuck back to your mama unless y'all get divorced. So no, the question, no, he just flipped the question. Because please believe, <laughs> every other person in that household <laughs> got your mama back. But ain't nobody got your wife back. She in there solo dolo. Hey, if she you talk too loud, I ain't gonna have her back, shit. bitch. Don't talk to my mama <laughs> like that. <laughs> hey, nigga, I don't, you talk all that shit you want. I don't, I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, nigga. Play nigga don't play with my mama, my nigga. That, that's what it is. Now, yeah. my mama. <laughs> Tree, Reedy, you got something going on? What's going on with you? You got something going on? 
Oh, you want to do read this read or what you want? I mean, well, it's, I, we at the I, end of the show. No, 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 no. Yeah. We got ten minutes. Okay. Hey, don't stop our flow because you. This was your first time being on time. Damn. Hey, shout out to the host because he was on time today. I was on time today. He was on time. Make sure y'all click up, check out that motherfucking glow body sculpture. Hell yeah! All right, next question for the queens, man. And this this is a deep one, so I just want y'all to really think and reflect. Ladies, how do you know if you're being too picky versus refusing to settle? Mm. Well, I know, mm. I'll start. I know yeah, for me, <laughs> being too picky and mm. settling, I know what I don't want. Mm. So to me, that's not being picky. Right. To me, that's settling if you say you don't want something, but then you get it, if that makes sense, mm. I guess. So let me ask you, George, fat guy. George, He's not guy. so tight. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But he everything you need. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He everything you need. That's what I was about to say. Like, mm. sometimes when you get into a relationship, you know, like, things change. And, you know, when feelings get involved mm. and, you know, you start to, like, sacrifice. Yeah. You know, I can't do somebody saying, who will have a job. Things, I'm saying off That's jump. what some I'm saying. Things, that's not what all I'm things. I'm saying, I'm you saying. know, you have expectations. You have yes, standards. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, so some things you may, like you say, uh, he he might have been tall and fit, you know what I'm saying, when y'all got together. But now, yeah. you know, after a couple of years, he might be a little he on the heavy side. And you may not be as attractive. Right. You know, you, you could communicate yeah. that. And I'm saying you know. my, my whole thing with saying this is... Uh, can we get past looks? Is, is, is looks something that you can get past? Let's say George. Yeah, looks let's, ain't let's, let's say, let's say looks George. Let's say George. You have to be attracted to a person that yeah, you you're do, with. You do. You do. Let's you say know. George work at the church. He played the organ. You know, he's 280, 70 pounds. You know what I'm saying? 5'11". Mm -hmm. He smell a couple different sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But he a good guy. He you smell you, different. He always, not smell different, but... <laughs> oh, no, he but, got that fat Yeah, he got that, that, no. that, that mildew smell. No. You know that shit be sitting up in the day. You know that guy. Y'all think you can get him together? Yeah. I ain't gonna you be able to You gotta have an attraction. No, I'm not attracted to you if you have a smell. Not seeing a smell. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. What? Let's say he's just not your type, but you know he'll be a good guy. George if he is a good not person. my type, then, then he'll be I'm a good guy. Not my type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but George wants you. Mm. George, George makes seven <laughs> figures a year. That's George right. got a big ass crib. That's He's right. saying, "Bring your son. I can put him in." But Audi. if I'm not into you, that all of that can't force me to be into you. Mm. I agree with mm. that, but it mm. also gonna make you lonely. Yeah. No, but you know, Gemini, yeah. she a Gemini yeah. like me, so we don't mind being lonely. We don't mind being ourselves because we really two people. I'm just saying, like yeah. the question that you propose, you know uh. what I'm saying? There's there's good to it and there's bad side to it. Is the no, reason why the you're, question was, the reason why you we're still out picky? here? Yeah. yeah, you still out or, here looking because you couldn't get past that slight smell mm. instead of just saying, No, oh, no, we no, we're not <laughs> doing the smell, man. We're going to get you we're the smell. smell. <laughs> and we're going to get your body together. <laughs> so you ain't got that smell man, no Jessica, more. Jessica, no, George. That nigga, he, listen, he got the listen, fat listen. people smell. Why not impress me with the smell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's, listen, I know, yeah, smell, so. I know we all hear it all in the smell. I know we all hear it is a lot of good. But the dude who smell good nah. that you attract no, to might be one of the best. But it's more than that one dude. Yeah. That right. smells good. But That's those right. dudes might be the biggest hoes that you know. But, but she doesn't want to settle for not the smell. All right, man. 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 That smell so got, got her so like hell. So we got, no. we got, we got a couple no. minutes left, man. So I want to um I want to definitely um reach out to um Rita's Reed, man, because it's time for Rita D's Reed, because she got a goddamn show out there. So this my guy them co-hosts and we got them doing so our goddamn good. thing so let's go ahead and do the goddamn reread. -re. you know what I'm saying the best part of the show go on what's, what's up on Rita Reads Rita alright so um, I just really want to give a shout out to those people that are out here rocking that natural mm. no weave no hair lock hair house shit lock well, yeah, we gonna get her together. <laughs> I'm, I'm all, I'm all with the natural, the sea moss. I'm all with that, the juicing. I'm all with the herbs, the herbs, all of that good stuff. The Yomi steam. I ordered one, y'all. I'm so excited. Snap that pussy back. That's the Yomi thing. <laughs> so I'm all with that. So like I said, the natural because hey, y'all, no weave. Hey, look, let me explain something to y'all. Just because y'all see me in braids, just because y'all see me with the sew-ins and they be fabulous, just because y'all be seeing me rocking 
flipping my hair, everything. Don't get it twisted. Baby got some hair. Mm. I just choose not to wear it in the summertime because mm. it's hot mm. than a motherfucker yeah, outside. It is hot. Look, this right here, if y'all can touch it, look. Y'all know what time it is. Hey, I can't even put yes. So I'm saying that to say, I'm saying that to say that I am feeling my girls out here rocking that natural beauty. Listen, live in your own skin. Be yourself. Love yourself. Mm. Self-care is everything. Mm. Embrace it. It's 2021. Don't stop it. Stop settling. Walk by faith, not by sight. Get your seed moss. Get your yomi steam clean. Get your bald head in this lock no, stuff no, on. No, no. We ain't bald head on. No, no, no. Bald head. Head. <laughs> hey, this no, no. Head. Oh, Wait. No, Wait. No, that's your line. I'm oh, sorry. It kind of went with yeah. the whole. No, well, I, 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 was, I, I was out. I was out. I kept out. I was out. So get it. <laughs> Yeah. Also, a mm. waist trainer people hit us up. Yeah. Everybody trying to get their waist snatched. Somebody get reached in my snatched. DM the other day and want me to wear this waist trainer for them. Uh, put it on the podcast, all yeah. of that. What I got to, to say to y'all is, if y'all want me to wear y'all stuff, y'all want me to rock y'all stuff, y'all want me to do shit. that. Y'all have to yeah. send it to send me. Y'all have to lock into our podcast. Mm -hmm. Y'all have to go mobile with us, global. Y'all have to rock with us because when we make it to the top, y'all. Everybody that's with us yeah. is going. going. And I already know. I already told God, take yeah. everybody that's not for us <clears throat> away from us. So strong. Hell yeah. Period. Can you say that one more time? Can you say that? Take and everybody who? If you not for us, mm. if God, God see fit for anybody to mm. fall by the wayside, on, mm -hmm. all we can do is reach out. All we can do is communicate. All we mm. can do is apologize. All we can do is say mm -hmm. whatever. But if God, if they are not for us, mm. keep them away from stay us. Away, stay away. Keep them away from us. This that goes for family, yes. friends, yes. associates, yes. co-workers, yes. people, yes. anybody. Get on everybody. Get the fuck on. Get away from us. Fuck on. Amen. Amen. Hey, yeah. hey, man. Readers D, give her a fucking round of applause, man. Yeah. This woman is like the new sister soldier and the other lady that broke the book. Them niggas is like, really? <laughs> now, I ain't gonna lie. Make sure y'all cash app her too, man, and read a D19 fucking 81. Because okay. niggas ain't up here for free. And oh, cash app okay. everybody. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, pay for, we gotta pay for this shit and we gotta pay for these bills and pay for everything. But also, we gotta let them know next time, next week. Next week. We on the road. Yeah, we on the road. Well, we, I'm gonna be back for the show. Oh, you and are? We, we, yeah, I gotta come do that. I gotta come do the show. We D you. gonna be gone. I'm gonna so, be out. But I want all y'all to still watch because I know when Rita D be gone, y'all don't watch the show. So, listen, <laughs> listen, don't do that. Yeah, yeah tune into the show, y'all. I'm gonna be out of show. town. I haven't been nowhere in almost two where, years. Where you going? I. It's an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures will be posted. So follow me on Facebook and I Instagram. Some people already way. know. Some people want to go. Some people yeah. want to go. Yeah. But yeah. all I'm saying is, a. Hey, I'll be out of town next week. I will be uploading and pictures. I'm going to be on a vacation where that vacation going to seem like you by yourself, yeah. but you ain't really by yourself. I, yeah. Okay. And, 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 That's my hair, girl. And you know, and I got and me, I gotta get it done. And I, I, I got to, you know, let me see. It's It's got a little lymph. Seamoss is good for the hair girl. Seamoss is good. Seamoss is good for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. also. She always hustling. Also, hey, she better hustle because yeah, that's what yeah, we I do. We shit. hustle hard. Shout out to my little cousin, the Seamologist. She's Man, everything. Seamoss allergist. Seamoss allergist. I but, have um, a black business. I want to shout out hold to Hold on, hold on. We're about to get into that. Let me just say this. I would just ask, I just want to ask my panel of queens. Mm -hmm. um, we about to be out in a minute. We're going to try to do a fucking September, the first week of September. We're going to try to do a fucking Cedar Point trip. We're going to take it back, a TBT Cedar Point trip for the Herbal Tea Podcast. So we're going to definitely do that first week of September. See Wait, months. we are or we going to try? We don't. We're going to do that. We're going to Cedar Point the first week I want to do September. Halloween weekend. All right. <clears throat> We Labor Day weekend, though. No. Yeah, I'm with hold that. Hold on, hold on. All right, so we're going to shout out the black business, Seamoss Allergist. Go yes, ahead and shoot your shit out here. Follow me at the Seamoss Allergist. That's C as in the ocean, S-E-A underscore Moss Allergist, M-O-S-S-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Mm. That's on Facebook, Instagram. Everyone you do, she want to do shit. Jesse P, how about a um, fucking uh, black business? Yeah, I do. do. I have one. Um, it's called Truth versus Hype. Okay. Owner is Hassan Casey. Hassan. Um, okay. He, yes. He is African American. No, he is no not, <laughs> not A rap. Yeah. But he has some <laughs> yeah. of the best TAC oils that I have uh, <clears throat> experienced so far. And he is in a lot of shops. 
around town. So, you know, shout out to that. Shout out Truth to you, versus bro. hype. It's called Truth versus hype. Yeah. Make sure y'all check them out. Truth versus hype, man. It's really deep. Who you black business? Who you hey, shot? I'm shouting out a special lady. I'm shouting out a lady that do facials, waxes, make teas, mm. smoothie. Okay. She call her. So. No. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck it then, dog. Go to my single. She the sea moss island. Oh, sea moss island. Oh, she don't just man. do sea moss shit. Huh? She do everything. She do it all. Hey. I'm shouting out this black business. It wouldn't be right if thank, I ain't spent it one more time back to her to let her let y'all know exactly yes. what else she does other than the sea moss. Yeah. Make yes. sure. Make sure you stick. Make sure you shoot your Instagram out one more time, Quinn. That is the sea moss allergist. Mm. C as in the ocean. S E A underscore. Mossologist, M O S S O L O G I S T. Yes, <laughs> Follow me yes. also at I'm Facebook, yeah, the Mossologist, T H E underscore Mossologist, M O S S O L O G I S T. And I am Uncle Dub, man. I'm shouting out. Y'all know who we shouting out the fucking a sponsor for the podcast, Glow Body Sculpture. Make sure y'all get y'all shit straight. Make sure y'all call them. They can, if you fuck with us, Herbal Tea Podcast is charging $225. You can get them trim, shit trimmed off for fucking one. 150. So you saving $75 fucking with us. We're going to do our before and after. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do our before and after because me and Rita D going to get one. So we're we going to come one. and show y'all what we're going to do on the Herbal Tea. Yes, um, we want to shout out Brooks, King Brooks Express, Brooks Root Global. We out this motherfucker. Peace. Motherfucker Herbal Tea Podcast. Peace. Ah! Hey! Yeah. That was a good fucking show. Good.